Welcome to Numbers World. Today we are going to solve past papers of ICAPS Mathematics Contest of year 2021 for grade 1 and 2. So let's start it. Question number 1 which pattern below follows next. So here we can see three types of circles are given to us which are repeating again in the same way. After third one the first is going to come back again. So if we look at all our options the C is the appropriate one which is repeating in the same sequence and that is going to fit into our pattern. So C is the answer. Question number two, there are 60 shapes all together in the diagram. How many squares are there? So here we can see there are so many squares. So let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So there are 24 squares. But wait. We are going to look around. Is there any other square in the rest of the shapes? So yes, there is one. So previously we had 24 squares. Now we have one more. So 24 plus 1 is equal to 25. So D is our answer. Question number 3. Fatima recorded the vowels A, E, I, O and U from a page of her book. She drew a bar graph of her results. So you can see a bar graph over here. How many more A's did she get than I's? So the bar of A is ending between 10 and 12. So what number is in between 10 and 12? It's 11. For E, the bar is ending between 14 and 16. So the number is 15. So for I, the number is 5. O, the bar is ending at 6. So the number is 6. And U is 3. It's a question of comparison that how many more A's did she get than I's? Whenever a question of comparison comes, we subtract the numbers. For A, the number is 11 and for I, the number is 5. So we will subtract these two numbers. So 11 minus 5 is equal to 6. So B is our answer. Question number 4. There are 100 numbers all together in a diagram. How many ones are there that are not in red? So be careful about it. They didn't ask you to count the number of ones. Interested in ones which are not red. So we will move in the sequence. We will see the first column. There is a 1 in red color so we will not count it but we can see a one in blue color so this is our first one then in the second column and other one is found so we will circle it then in the third column we have another one and uh, this one will be counted as well in the five there is no one in column number six we have one more one then i can see two more ones and the columns there is no one so that's why we are going to count the number of the circles one two three four five six seven so there are seven ones which are not in red color so c is our answer question number five count the following lines so such type of questions are very easy but a bit confusing so the best way to count the number of lines here is that you draw a line on the line you may use a colored pencil or a normal pencil but draw a line on the line like this one 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and when you will count the rest of the lines the answer will be 22. So C will be our answer. Question number 6. How many configurations of blocks appear only once in the figure given below? So basically we are going to match the shapes and then we will count the number of the shapes which are not repeating. So this pink colored shape it's repeating. Then the orange one as well. I can see this shape two times and this one as well so i don't think so that there is any other shape that is repeating itself so let's count the number of the remaining shapes one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve so option b is our answer Question number seven look at the analog clock which digital clock shows the same time so you can see the smaller arm the hour arm is in between 4 and 5, so our hour is 4, and the longer arm is on 6, so it's half past 4. Half past means 30 minutes, so the time is option B, 4.30. Question number 8. Khalid is warming up for a soccer game on Saturday morning. What time is it? Choose the more likely time. So if we look at our option B, C and D, like 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock or 2 o'clock, it's too early to get up. It will be darker outside. So option A is the best one because 7 o'clock is appropriate time to get up and get ready for the soccer game. So option A is our answer. Question number 9. The following clocks show when some friends got the newspaper Wednesday morning. 
who got the newspaper latest latest means at the end so look at the clocks it's 11 o'clock ahmed got the newspaper at 11 o'clock fatima got it at 9 o'clock ali got it at 10 and amna got it at 9 30. so now you can see which person got the newspaper latest it's ahmed because he got the newspaper at the end at 11 o'clock so a is our answer Question number 10, which month comes right after December? So we all know after December, a new year starts. So after December, January comes. So option C is the correct one. Question number 11, Vijaya and her sister went on a whale watching cruise. The boat left at 7.30. They were on the boat for 1 hour and 30 minutes. What time was it when Vijaya and her sister got off the boat? So we are going to add 1 hour and 30 minutes into 7.30. If the starting time is 7.30, we will add 30 minutes first into it. The answer will be 8 o'clock and then we will add remaining 1 hour into 8 o'clock. The answer will be 9. So, Vajiha and her sister got off the board at 9 o'clock. So, D is the correct option. Question number 12. What day of the week is August 5? So, you can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is here. And now we are going to see what day is written above. It's Monday. So, a is our answer. It's Monday. Question number 13. Choose the shape in the middle left. So first of all, we are going to find the middle or center of the given shapes, which is a square. And on the left side of the square is a heart. So option B is our answer. Huh. Question number 14. Select the picture that shows equal parts. So here option B and C are clearly not our answers because the size of the parts are different in them. We will focus on our option A and D. So basically we have three types of triangles. The first one is equilateral triangle in which all the sides are of same length. The second one is isosceles triangle in which two sides of the triangle are same and the third one is of different size. And third one is scalene triangle which has uh, three sides of different lengths. So in option A, an isosceles triangle is given. So it will have two equal parts and third will be different. So we will not choose it. Option D is our answer which is clearly showing two equal parts. Question number 15. In Amna's house, the kitchen is 11 feet long. The bedroom is one foot shorter than the kitchen. The family room is four feet longer than the kitchen. Which room is shortest? The length of the kitchen is 11 feet and the bedroom is one foot shorter than the kitchen. Shorter means we are going to subtract one out of the length of the kitchen, which was 11. So 11 minus one is equal to 10 feet. The family room is 4 feet longer than the kitchen. So longer means plus. We are going to add 4 into the length of the kitchen. So 11 plus 4 is equal to 15 feet. So the family room is 15 feet bigger. So uh, you can see that which is the shortest of all. It's the bedroom because bedroom is the smallest of all. So option A is the answer. Question number 16. The same number is missing from these two number sentences. Which number could be put in the boxes to make both number sentences true? So one by one, we will check all our options. So let's start from option A, 229. So C, is it greater than 214? Yes, it is. And is it smaller than 237? Yes, it is. So it can be our possible answer, but let's check the other options as well. Option B is 201. So C, is it greater than 214? No, it is not. So we can't choose it as our answer. Now, option C is 266. So is it greater than 214? Yes, it is. But is it less than 237? No, it's not because its tens place is greater than the tens place of 237. So no. Now, the last option is 243. Is it greater than 214? Yes, it is. But it is not less than 237. So, option D is also not appropriate. Only the option A is. So, number 17. There are different types of pineapples in the given figure. How many pineapples appear only once? So the best way is that you cut all the similar looking uh, pineapples. And when you will do that process, you will find that these two pineapples are different than rest of the pineapples. Even though their pattern is quite similar, like its color is same, so it's very difficult to identify it, but you have to be very careful and cut all the similar uh, pineapples. So answer is B, because there are only two different types of pineapples in there. 
Question number 18, the numbers of eggs a farmer collects for four days are shown. How many eggs does the farmer collect altogether? So basically, we are going to find the total number of eggs in the four baskets. So it's totally up to you if you want to write all four numbers together and add them by using uh, by doing long addition or otherwise you can do the procedure step by step by adding the number of eggs in the first two baskets. So see 31 plus 25 is equal to 5 plus 1 is 6 and 3 plus 2 is 5. So 56. Now we will write the number of the eggs in the third basket and add it into our previous answer which was 56. So 6 plus 3 is 9 and 5 plus 2 is 7. So the sum of the number of eggs of first three baskets is 79. Now we will add the number of eggs in the last basket which is 22 in 79 the answer will be 9 plus 2 is 11 1 will come down and 1 will be given as a tail then 7 plus 1 plus 2 is equal to 10 so answer is 101 it means in total there are 101 eggs in four baskets so option b is our answer question number 19 ahmed is building a fence that will be 85 yards long this picture shows the number of yards of fence he has already built how many more yards of fence does ahmed need to build so out of total 85 he has already built 49 yards to find out how much more he needs to build we are going to subtract 49 out of the total which is 85 so let's do it 9 cannot be taken out of 5 because it is greater than 5. So we are going to borrow 1 from 8. So 7 is remaining here and 5 will become 15. So 15 minus 9 is equal to 6 and 7 minus 4 is equal to 3. It means he needs to build 36 yards more. So B is our correct option. Question number 20. The attached image shows a corridor floor that is covered with square tiles of the same size. How many tiles are covered by the green patch? So you can see that the size of the tiles in the front row is much more bigger as compared to the size of the tiles in the last row. It's gradually getting smaller. It's just because of the front view. If we see the same corridor from the top view, you will notice that all the size tiles are of same size. But due to the front view, we can see the difference between the size of the tiles. So now you can draw the uh, lines and do the numbering if you see the front row the first row of the green pack the size of it is bigger than the others and gradually its size is decreasing so let's count the number of squares or number of tiles in the green patch one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so till end there are 33 tiles so option b is our answer I hope you liked my video so don't forget to like and comment on it and subscribe my channel. So see you soon.